Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to cover FTP versus TFTP. Uh, and it's from a Cisco product perspective or a, a networking device perspective. I've done this type of uh, video in the past. Uh, people have asked for kind of a refresh on it, so here we are. So the goals are quite simple. Um, so many analysts rely on F TFTP to copy files to and from their network devices. In certain situations, TFTP will, 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 will time out or generally take a long time to complete. In this presentation, I'll demonstrate why you should consider FTP instead. And that is if you have that option since not all equipment supports FTP. So of course, if you don't support it, then this is a moot point. So what did I use for this write-up? Of course, I use a Cisco router, it's 2851. We use this Apposite Link Trophy Link Trophy Mini WAN emulator because I'm not at the customer site where I first saw this. I'm at my office, so this is going to simulate a WAN for me. Of course, we got Wireshark. We're going to capture our packets. We got a free TFTP server, TFTP D32, where you can get from this link. We've got a quick and easy FTP server. This is uh, one of my favorites because it's quick and dirty. It's uh, nothing to install. The, when you get the server light one, it's portable. You just run the executable, off you go. And a 500 kilobyte file. So the layout's quite simple. Got my laptop here, running Wireshark, going through this emulator. So there's a piece of, literally a piece of copper going in here and out of here in my switch. And that switch goes to my router. It's real simple. So this, the emulator is going to simulate bandwidth, latency, whatever I want to do. Okay, and I'll show you that screen in just a moment. On the Cisco side of things, I use the following commands. I just did copy TFTP. That's why people like to use TFTP, right? Because it's just easy, no passwords and that kind of thing. So we've got the IP address. And of course, we've got the file name and flash, la, la, la. So it's copying from my laptop to the actual router's flash. So that's that. And huh, I just realized I put this twice for some. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. That's not twice. It's FTP. So TFTP and FTP. I totally missed the T. Can you believe that? So that's the TFTP and that's the FTP command. So for FTP, I configured Cisco as the FTP username and password. So when you use FTP with Cisco, you can put these two commands into your config IP FTP username Cisco and password Cisco. So that's what I did. Of course, in the real world, you probably want to use something a little bit better, but for the purposes of my lab, this is perfect. A little bit about the bytes. I didn't randomly choose 500K. The math is real simple. One megabit per second is 125 kilobytes per second because there's eight bits in a byte. So 125 kilobytes times four seconds gives you 500 kilobytes. Now, of course, four seconds, this is math and theoretic, theoretical stuff, right? Uh, in the real world, it's going to take longer than four, but at least now I know what kind of file I'm dealing with, and I know how far off four seconds I'm going to achieve my real throughput, right? So if the test takes 10 seconds, and it's supposed to be four, that gives me an idea of how much longer it's taking. So we've got our Wireshark laptop notes. And I disabled my Wi-Fi adapter. That was really important because I'm using my laptop. So things may squirt out the Wi-Fi. I want to make sure it doesn't. So everything's going to go through my Ethernet adapter. Then I used the capture filter to reduce the number of packets to analyze. And that's what I did. So host, and that's the IP of my router. And not, not port telnet because I'm telneted into the router as well. So I don't want to see my telnet packets. And I would just want to see everything to it. Then I left the T FTP and TFTP server with the default settings. So I haven't messed around with anything. So if you get these products, this is the way they are literally uh, when you download them. The Link Trophy Mini 2, that's what I'm using here, a little guy. Actually, I like it. It's um, a little WAN emulator. So I configured the emulator with the same characteristics as the connection. So basically, one meg up and down, 33 milliseconds delay up and down. Packet loss, one percent, and that's what I did. Now, how do we figure that out? Well, you know, you can ping, you can capture some packets, look at it, and this is kind of a, a guesstimate, right? This isn't an exact science, but I wanted to make sure I had something close to what I saw. So, TFTP analysis. This you can use for uh, even baselining this type of information. So, Cisco's reading in 512 byte blocks for TFTP, right? I also noticed that when things did not 
get acknowledged, I'm going to talk about that in a moment, it takes one second to figure that out and then there's a retransmission. Now TFTP is UDP based, right? So you, you have to make sure you understand that TCP is not stepping in to help you out. So the way this is working, if you take a look, you'll see data packet block one, acknowledgement block one. So this is a classic, it's called a ping pong or PAR, positive acknowledgement with retransmission behavior. So ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, that sort of thing. I also noticed that if there's a FTP error, like this error code, then it basically starts all over again at black one. Isn't that interesting? So again, all products are all different, but in this case, this is what it's doing. So let's go to T FTP. So FTP, you can see that there's many packets to one acknowledgement. So there's two in an ACK, one in an ACK, two in an ACK, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm going to skip all the TCP lingo for now because I do a lot of other videos on that. I've also noticed there's larger packet sizes. So it's not that 512 byte block. These are 1460, right? So that's kind of cool, right? You can send almost three times as much data in one packet. And then you can even see TCP updating its window size as it's going along. So you'll see a window update and that sort of thing because TCP is helping you with the throughput to optimize your basic throughput. And then lastly, TCP can deal with lost packets or retransmissions, and that's what it's built for. So final comparison, we've got our TFTP and FTP. TFTP took a heck of a lot longer packets, and we found that out because, again, FTP uh, can accommodate almost three times the data in one packet. That was only eight seconds for FTP, and TFTP was 100 seconds, and that's a pretty good comparison. If you look at the actual throughput in Wireshark, you the I.O. graph, you'll see that FTP ramped all the way up to 900 kilobits out of my one meg circuit. And I.O. graph TFTP showed me that there was 700 kilobits on average. But you can see the difference in the pattern. See that? It's all spiky, spiky, spiky. And this is a lot more gradual and then back down again. There you go, folks. Hope that helped. And uh, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.